Trabecular titanium technology is a particularly interesting technology which stimulated my curiosity and my wish to always improve, especially with regard to the bone prosthesis interaction. Titanium is a highly studied material with many potentials, but I certainly saw in the trabecular titanium technology a plus that in fact turned out to be such. It's a very long story because we had a historical relationship with an Italian company, Lima, who was the first one who discovered this technology in orthopedics. So they came up with this new technology and together we worked out a project, an idea, and using this technology the most natural thought was to apply it to acetabular components. It's a well-known technology. The novelty is that Arkham, which is an industry leader in 3D printing, starting from titanium powders, was able to use this material, titanium, which is so important in prosthesis. So the synergy between Arkham, a leader in industry, and a prosthetic company like Lima, developed the project we're talking about producing the first cup that is built with this technology. Naturally, all of these theoretical assumptions had to be proven in vivo, and hence I was implanting the first cup produced with this technology to evaluate directly from the clinical outcomes. The coherence of the press fit during the cup positioning, the initial scratch fit, and then the long-term follow-up. Now we are at a distance of 10 years and we can say that the project, let's say the research phase, has brought an excellent result. The follow-up is basically what would have given us signals on the performance of this cup. And of course, in the short term, only the radiographic images could give a clear idea of the osseointegration. But we had the chance to use a high-definition CT scan system to see, just a few months after the surgery, as in these first patients, there was already a direct contact of the bone interconnecting with the surface. Thanks to the quality of the porous material, stability can be reliable in the cases subject to incomplete bone coverage. This predictable result will in the future lead to this technology being used for many other joints. A particularly interesting area in which the three-dimensional modelling and the microsurface level design will be of great value will be revision surgery. Sarà la revisione. Dal punto di vista proprio tecnico, durante il primo impianto abbiamo ricevuto subito una buona From a technical point of view, we immediately got a good feeling of stability during the first implant. The patient was a standard patient but with very advanced arthrosis, already treated 10 years earlier with a conventional cup fixed with screws. The Delta TT cups have proved to be very useful on a daily basis because, as I was saying, in extreme situations such as dysplasia, we have made fairly extensive use and we continue to do so. I have personally implanted almost 600 of these cups and my group over 15 or 1600. So it is definitely one of the cups that best suits some particular demands where it is necessary a particular grip, fixation and or safety is required. At 10 years out from the first case, we see that that first patient is doing well. She also has a combination with ceramic, which lets us presume 
that this device could also last for a lifetime. So, what's important in evaluating this first medium-term follow-up period? There is something that works. And so this technology, implemented by Lima with Arkham technology, the magic of powders that are converted into a three-dimensional structure, is becoming more and more popular. There is a large spread. Many companies in the orthopaedic industry have a strong interest in this technology.